Good morning, my battle pups and those in the hive mind of High Fleet Leviathan. In anticipation of an upcoming Space Marine 2 release in the next couple days, we'll be going over how to paint a Tyranid in the scheme of High Fleet Leviathan. On screen are all the paints you'll need, and I know it's a bit more than my usual tutorials, but I promise you, this game will be just as simple as always. Of course, we'll start off with priming the model with white scars to save us time with the skin tone before we go on to the Titan armor. For a bit more complex models like Tyranids, I prefer to have them self-assembled to make painting them a little bit easier on myself. Next, we will carefully start with painting the armor pieces across the body with Leviathan Purple from the legs to the body and onto the head. If you do put the original gland piece on the back like I did here, please avoid getting paint on it best you can to save yourself some little bit of hassle. From here, we'll go on to painting the weapons and bone parts of Flesh Terror's Red. We'll be painting the Bone Sword, Venom Cannon, Boobs, and any of the small claws and talons on the model. With that step out of the way, we'll go on to the smaller details of skeleton work for just the teeth, Volupus Pink for the flesh bits and gaps between the chest. And here at the end, it will cover the entire model carefully with an oil. Don't let it pull up too much in the recesses, and clean it up with the brush if you do see that happening. After all that is dried, we'll be hitting the eyes with flash gets yellow. Note, there are eyes on the gun, so don't freak those parts. And with that, here we have a completed warrior to fight for biomass to feed the high fleet. Thank you for stopping on by. I look forward to seeing you all on the tabletop and on Space Spring 2. Hope everyone here has a good night. Thank you for stopping by again.